Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Victorinox Compact. Interesting little knife from Victorinox, quickly growing to be one of my favorites. I just got this in yesterday for me. So here's a quick review and I'll try to do a follow-up down the road of how things go. So let's get into it. When you get the Compact, it comes in a nice little gray box. Victorinox logo on the front. From the makers of the original Swiss Army knife, established 1884, yada, yada, yada. Model number 1-1.3405, 1 1 compact red. Nice little box. Inside the box, we have some literature talking about the uh, tweezers, toothpick, how to clean it if it gets pocket lint and stuff inside, and the how to use the combo tool. And we'll get into the combo tool first, since that seems to be the most unusual thing about this knife when compared to a standard Swiss Army knife. We'll just set this over here in the corner so it can glare at you ominously. Um, combo tool. This little guy right here. Interesting little tool. It's a can opener. It's a flathead driver. It's a Phillips driver. It's a wire stripper, cap lifter. All these things. I say Phillips because here's a number two Phillips screw and that locks right in there quite nicely and good for tightening and loosening. Now it's not good for like just popping it on and spinning a screw off obviously. This is more the screws in there. It either needs to be tightened a little bit or loosened a little bit. Not just repetitive repair of a set of screws. But just to show you. That does work quite nicely as a Phillips driver. We have the little wire stripper, which you just take a little small electrical wire, pop it in there, bend it over, give it a pull, you strip the wire. Cap lifter, most of y'all know how to pop a cap off a bottle. If you don't, go look it up. That's, you know, that's how they're done. Also, can opener. Now, I know this is not a soup can, but if you've Want, if you want to practice your can opening skills and you don't want to waste it on a bunch of tuna cans, find a bunch of empty pop cans and you'll find out that they work quite well as practice cans. Pops around, goes around. This is a pull can opener, not a push can opener. Usually the Victorinox can openers are push can openers like this one here pop that in got to get it locked in pushed in it doesn't work as well on cans because they, they're just that deep inside whereas a normal soup can is a little bit more shallow but you can sometimes get those to work like I just did there you just run it around but honestly I tried it on a soup on a can of corn I like this uh, can opener style better than this can opener style, so take note of that. If you're wanting to open cans a lot and you want something reliable and, and good, I recommend this. This actually works quite nicely. I almost prefer it to the old can openers. But what this is mostly riffing off of is their standard flathead driver. You can see some similarities, I'm sure. Got some thunder going in the background. And one thing I'd like to point out right off the bat is that the stock on the combo tool, the metal that it's made of, is a little bit thinner than the standard blade. And that is because this is a two-layer multi-tool. As you can see along the back here, you only have two channels. So how do you fit a knife blade and this, you know, big flathead driver in the same layer. You do that by thinning down the flathead driver a little bit and knife blade is still the same thickness. So there's that. There's some of the can stickiness off of this. Um, great at flat on, going on flathead screws, Phillips screws, can cap lifter. I have not tried because I haven't had access to bottles yet, but the can opener. I've tried it a time or two. It's great. I love it. And something that uh, Slip Joint Sawyer pointed out that I totally missed on mine looking it over yesterday 
is uh, that the tool is actually creased right along here and bent over so that you can reach over to get into the cans to open the cans. It's not noticeable at first. I almost completely missed it. It's that subtle, but it is ever so slightly bent. I don't know if you can see the little crease in the metal there from how the light changes, but it is just ever so slightly bent. If you look at it square on when the camera stops shaking, you may see it a little bit. It's ever so, it's a subtle bend, but it is noticeable. But this is a fantastic tool, and I'm not really worried about it being a thinner stock than the standard tool, because really, if a flathead is that big and that rusted into place, you're probably just going to go bust out a big old screwdriver anyway. This is just for the standard. It's all, it's going to move on its own with maybe a little bit of persuasion, which you may want to do that and pop it in. You know, it's not going to break your tool, I don't think. In that layer, we move, we're moving on now. We go on to the knife. That is the same knife blade that is on pretty much every other standard 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife. Same blade, same steel, uh, says Victorinox, Swiss made stainless. Flip it over, it says Officer Suisse. I love butchering that word. Um, great edge, out of box, holds an edge for a while. I love it. And then, up next we have the scissors. These are fantastic scissors. You cannot go wrong with... Victorinox scissors. These things are Swiss engineering in physical form. This is the best of the best of small scissors. Clicks in quite nicely. We have the corkscrew with the eyeglass driver. And I've been getting on the corkscrew bandwagon here. I, originally when I got a Swiss Army knife, I wanted nothing but the... Phillips driver, because I do use the Phillips a lot, still do, but I have grown to appreciate having the corkscrew, being able to undo knots and paracord, just picking and scraping and hooking and pulling, good little hook to have, eyeglass driver has been handy as a little pick and all sorts of little stuff, goes in there, locks in, delightful. In that same spot, inside the scales, we have this tiny, tiny little metal pin. Great for pulling out splinters, especially when paired up with the tweezers, which we'll take a look at here in a few moments. Goes into a tiny little hole on the side of the plastic scales here. And that, excuse me for one moment. <laughs> Is one thing that I don't like about the Econo scales is that the Econo scales do not have the tiny little pinhole for the pin. So take note of that if you're looking into getting yourself some Econo scales. They're a little bit rougher texture, so they give you better grip, but uh, you lose some features. So buyer beware. It's not bad, just. It's a, it's a thing that if you're looking for the pin, it's going to be a little bit buggersome. So, on to the parcel hook. I do use the parcel hook a lot. Unlike some people, I use the parcel hook. I use it for just grabbing and pulling like a crochet hook. Not, not for crocheting, but, you know, just getting into ropes, manipulating ropes. Sometimes I've used it to hold uh, a bunch of uh, grocery bags coming out of Walmart it's, I've done that before. They actually pack in there quite nicely. You can hold it. You've got the weight spread around better. Very nice. And then, something that they do here that they don't do on the other knives, which I wish they would just go ahead and do it across the board, is this parcel hook here has a nail file built into the back of it, which you do not have on the standard Swiss Army knives. Trying to see if I can get the camera to show that there. 
It's just like the little uh, nail file that you get on the Swiss Champs, and or not Swiss Champs, but the uh, Mini Champs here, like this guy. Sheesh. Chill out, Thunder. You know, you get this sort of nail file here on the back of the parcel hook. I find that very, very useful. I've already used it to take the corners off my fingernails a little bit today. It's been super, super handy to have. I right, like having this little combo here of the Rovi Von Aurora and the Mini Champ together. Click that to my tray vac so I can just grab and go one fell swoop. I'll usually transfer the bits to my belt and wallet to my pocket, but they're all together when I got to grab and go. We have the key ring, which I love having the key ring on a Swiss Army knife. I like to throw a little leather through like I have here. I plan on doing it with these two. These are so new I haven't tried it yet. Um, but my Swiss Army knives, I like to throw a little bit of a lanyard on because that gives me something that I can grab and pull out the main blade or any other tool from that angle with some leverage. It's just nice to have. Now let's get into the scale tools. This tool has the plus scales. The average Swiss Army knife that you see will have the toothpick and the tweezers. Very handy to have, very useful. I use both, especially the toothpick as I have a gap in my teeth that collects food. You gotta pick it out every now and then or you're just gonna be bugged about it all day long. So I find the toothpick extremely useful. This has the plus scales. So what that means is that you have this room for a little pressurized ink pen. And let's take their own literature here and let's test it out a little bit here. Writes quite well. Now, another uh, fellow Victorinox user, Felix Immler, you probably have heard of him if you've been perusing EDC channels for a while. He has a little hack on how to hold the pen better because this is so small and smooth. It's hard to hold in a natural way to write. You can you can scribble a, a note like uh, um, "eat bread." I don't know why that that just came to the first words in my mind there, but you can write. But what he has shown is that this is the same diameter as the parcel hook, so you just open up the parcel hook. Line up your ballpoint pen. It has this little offset here for the scales. Uh, trying to show that there. You see that? You just line that up to where it fits. It'll only go in one or one of two ways. Go it go in almost all the way down. Not all the way, or the hook won't close. Let the hook down easy because you don't want to accidentally snap the uh, tube of the pin. But now you have something that will hold the pen a lot better and you can write more comfortably. So thank you Felix Immler for making that video on how to use the pen with the parcel hook. Please consider checking him out as along with Slip Joint Sawyer who I mentioned earlier. He's on this Slip Joint Victorinox train at the moment and he's just cranking out a bunch of great videos with great reviews. Go check him out. Go check Felix Immler out. Give him a shout out. Say I said hi. Give him a like and a subscription. So they're great guys. And like I said, if it wasn't for Slip Joint Sawyer, I don't think I would have noticed that the tool here was slightly bent until after I made this video. So thank you for pointing that out. So that is the basics of the Victorinox Compact. It comes in at about $50 to $60 most of the time, depending on where you buy it. You might get them cheaper on Amazon with an Amazon deal, and I'm not sure about that. But it's a 91 millimeter knife, which is just the standard size that most people would think of with the knives that they sell. Um, it's not in a particular line of tools, like this is the Deluxe Tinker, which is a family of several tinkers here. I have the normal tinker. My dad has a super tinker. I have the deluxe tinker. That's part of a series here. This is just kind of a standalone tool with standalone utensils on it and I find it, excuse me, I find it to be very 
very handy. I've only had this for 24 hours, just a little bit over 24 hours. I've been using everything on it. It's slim. It goes into the front pocket of my jeans comfortably. It goes in the back pocket comfortably. And it has all I really want in the basics of a Swiss Army knife. Now, I have a Swiss champ that I will carry regularly. I love just maxing out my gear. But for those that like the minimalist side, and I do go minimalist at times, this hits all the notes. Because I don't really want a knife, like let's use this for an example. To get the flathead and can opener takes up a whole layer. And then to add scissors, you'd be getting a three-layer knife. So this tinker here, that is just two layers, you get the two uh, size flatheads, you get the can opener, the bottle opener, and that's great. But I like the idea of having this turned into this and making that one layer and just removing the can opener, this can opener altogether, because I don't really use it all that much. I do use it, do not get me wrong, I do use... The can opener. But not often enough that I want it on all of my Victorinox knives. So when I find one that has the option of being a can opener if I need it, a cap lifter, which I hardly ever use, but mainly just a flathead pry bar, is great. I have a means of prying, driving a few basic screws. I have a secondary blade. I usually carry a main blade, but this is a fine main blade, if it was to be that. Um, and then the scissors. And you just cannot go wrong with Victorinox scissors. I can't... I, I love having these because I'm always using it to trim a finger corner of a fingernail off. Loose thread on clothes. All sorts of goodies. So, man, this is... I'm just now saw the time. We've been, you've been listening to me ramble for 17 minutes. Good grief. I did not mean for it to go on this long. But this has become a favored knife for me already just in the last 24 hours of having this, carrying it, using it. And I see this becoming a big part of my daily, everyday carry. Now, I will still carry the Deluxe Tinker because I get the pliers with it. I love these pliers. They're just great to have. I'll carry the Swiss Champ. I've always got the Swiss Tool X on my belt. So, like, this, whatever this can't do, this will do with the exception of, like, a full-on socket set or specialty tools. Can't Nothing can really replace a good old socket set. Or even a good flathead driver. You know, you got to have some standard tools. But in the realm of everyday carry, where you don't have access to your tools all the time, and something goes wrong and you can't just go home and grab this, or you're 10 miles out, you got to do something, these will get the job done most of the time. If not, well, that's just life, you know, giving you lemons. Try to make the best lemonade you can, and it doesn't always give you sugar. But I love... The combo tool. And I wish that Victorinox had put the combo tool on more of their knives. Because I like having a secondary small blade. That's great to have. I have the Farmer X, which has the uh, all in place of the combo tool or the small blade. This is great to have. A great tool to have all around. But I think this is going to become... A staple tool of my EDC. This is just a fantastic shape. Being curved like it is, you can kind of rock, pry some stuff up if you had to. It's thin, yes, but if the bolt is that big and that rusted, go get a normal screwdriver or something else to work on it. Get some WD-40 before you try using this. But light switches that around the house repair, like your light switches, your outlets, your lamps, Anything basic electric around the house could be fixed with this. You don't need all the fancy tools. This would get most of the stuff done. Even some minor car work where you're trying to tighten a screw or two. But, been loving the main blades. Can't go wrong with that. The scissors are things that I 
I just love to have all around. They're just great to use. I love them to death. So thank you for listening to me ramble for 20 minutes. This is a long video with just one knife as the centerpiece. So thank you. Hope you found this video useful and informational. I hope it helps you build your EDC to your standards. And until the next time, farewell, carry well, and... Bye-bye. Uh,